driving the Zuzu in the rain. Never actually drove this one in the rain yet. Just sent it to Foster. Did that redneck fix on. Like a half ass fix, but it works. Transmission's going to, on the way down here. It's making a bunch of funky noises in fifth gear. He's here, yeah. Oh well, me and my brother will go down to pick and pull. Get a transmission off ADA LS Trooper. It's no big deal. 2.6. Yeah, four-wheel drive, like all of these first-generation troopers. I you have a little bit of that money left over from that summer job I was doing. Didn't get a, quite, didn't get a chance to do, get a video of it. You guys don't know how hard it is for me to actually drive and do the camera at the same time, especially at night. My lane. My time driving is one of my things I struggle at. But I had to go test out this. Which is that which I had the intermittent wipers on here. Oh well. Just turn them off now. or something. Soft Chevy. Running as hard as it was. Not really. Maybe the rain's going down our direction. No, no, not really.
secret. steering unlike my truck manual steering which sucks but I do have more feel for the road so I have a trade-off the only thing with power steering is it's when the steering box gets loose really hard to drive I've heard down with my primer truck the steering box is so worn out in sight the power steering actually barely worked I got rid of it. I needed the engine soon, bring a shitload of oil. Right, a lot of oil. Um, head gasket was leaking into, it's also leaking into the coolant. Transmission was going, synchrons were worn out. Fifth gear, or one of those, I think those fifth gear that made a bunch of weird noises. Time to say goodbye. I had a brand new rear end though, locker rear end. It's definitely a cool truck, but it was a death trap. It would have killed me if I kept it. Actually, I almost got killed a few times tonight. Um, CO2 poisoning. What the fuck are they thinking? What were they thinking?